On today's program, we're going to talk about GBAC STAR facility accreditation and what it can do for your organization. We're doing that by spotlighting one of our accredited facilities. And to do that, I welcome Angela Demenzik. She's the Process and Compliance Coordinator with Terminal Operations at Wayne County Airport Authority. Hello, Angela. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me today. It's a pleasure um, to have you on our program. Wayne County Airport Authority, Detroit, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Just in case some might not know where that is. I've been there many times myself. Fantastic airport. Uh, very enjoyable, nice and clean. So my first question, Angela, is just how easy is it to keep an airport clean and maintained? Well, it's not easy, Jeff. <laughs> um, it, it can be very challenging at times with the uh, you know, volume of traffic that goes uh, in and out of DTW on a daily and annual basis. Um, it, it can be very challenging. Um, that's why it's very important that, you know, our janitorial staff pay attention to those flight map, uh, I'm sorry, flight displays and the time, the arrival times and departure times that those flights are, are um, coming in and out. So we can get in and out of those hold rooms and restrooms and get them as clean as possible. Yeah, I never thought about that, that the, the cleaning crew needs to look at what's happening. I just figured they were always there, always busy, but they have a plan, strategic. Absolutely. That's part of their daily scheduling. Those uh, flight uh, displays offer a lot of information and, and help aid in the uh, daily scheduling. Okay. Well, let's get into the details about your facility, the airport. Talk about the size of it. Um, occupancy, all of that. Well, so uh, DTW, we have uh, the two terminals on campus, the Edward H. McNamara Terminal and the uh, Evans uh, Terminal, the Warren C. Evans Terminal, um, just recently renamed. Um, in regards to how big the facilities are, uh, the McNamara Terminal is our, our biggest uh, terminal facility on campus. Um, in terms of its size, I, I more tend to look at the, the public space uh, because that's what we're dealing with um, when we look at uh, you know, the uh, cleanliness. And so when we look at the McNamara Terminal, we are looking at approximately 950,000 square feet of public space um, that uh, is you know, utilized by the uh, public. And in, in regards to the Evans Terminal, that's about half of that. Um, we're looking at approximately 400,000 square foot of space, um, public space that is. So there's a, a big difference between those two terminals. Yeah, big airport. Um, I know I've walked it a few times, one end to the other. Uh, you have a tram as well, I believe, a train inside? Yes, uh, the tram actually sits on top of Concourse A which Concourse A is about a mile long end to end. And so that tram um, is actually capable of transporting, I believe it's about 4,000 passengers per hour per direction. Wow. I've never been on it. I've always just walked it, but I've seen it. Uh, very cool. Well, Angela, let's talk about what you've done to make your airport um, cleaner, healthier um, with GBAC Star accreditation. Why did your facility decide to invest in that? Well, Jeff, it's really simple. Um, you know, we wanted our passengers and our employees to know that DTW is doing more to keep them healthy and safe. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the tangible improvements or changes you made because of the accreditation process? Yeah, so, you know, and that's what the, those programs are all about. And, you know, we did identify some gaps uh, one of the, I think, most notable gap um, that we uh, identified and corrected was um, we noticed there was a difference in our uh, biohazard waste removal program at the Evans Terminal versus the McNamara Terminal. The program was um, a little more solid at the uh, McNamara Terminal, so therefore we worked with our janitorial service provider at the Evans Terminal to um, enter into a new contract with a new service provider, and that seems to be going well. So real changes resulted. 
Yes, definitely. Okay. Um, another gap that comes to mind is we identified um, as part of the GBAC process, you know, uh, they reviewed the training materials. And so inside those training packets, we identified some old SOPs, uh, standard, standard operating procedures that were being used um, when training new hires. And uh, we knew that there were uh, current SOPs out there. And so we worked with them to get that corrected as well. Okay. Well, it's good to hear that it made a difference, the GBAC Star Facility Accreditation for your facility. You know, let's talk about the 20 elements because I've I've looked at those myself. I've reviewed them. Um, as you looked at those 20 elements, were there any that stood out as especially challenging for you? You know, overall, I, I didn't, uh, one of, none of them stood out specifically challenging. I, I think overall, the um, learning the processes and protocols at our McNamara terminal, and I say that because terminal um, operations, we uh, are responsible for uh, managing the janitorial service provider for the public spaces at the Evans terminal. Um, we are not responsible for the direct management of the janitorial service provider at the McNamara terminal. So we had to work with individuals that we've never worked with before. Um, we had to gather documents and understand their processes and protocols. And so it was a, a, a a learning process for us, even though we're here every day, um, we had to learn uh, more about the McNamara terminal. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you can improve what you do or, or learn more about what you do, that helps for sure. So thank you for sharing that. Sure. Um, let's talk about the pandemic. You know, as, as we look at where we're at now, it's everyone feels like we're coming out of it. Masks are no longer required. You have the accreditation how will this benefit you as we go back to what we call normal? Well, you know, the there's always been the focus on the cleaning and disinfection since the beginning of the pandemic. And one of the things I really feel like the GBAC star helped us dial in on was the health and safety of our employees and our passengers. And that was through the proper use and disposal of PPE and our biohazard uh, response and cleanup protocols. And so, you know, even though we have two different service providers, um, one at each terminal, at the end of the day, we really learned that our processes and our protocols were very similar. And so now we have all of that on file and it's documented in one area and that's thanks to the GBAC star. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. My final question, Angela, is in your networking, you're talking to others who have positions like yourself, other airports or facilities. If you were, if they were to ask you about GBAC star facility accreditation, what would you tell them? Absolutely. You know, it's always a good feeling when you are, well prepared and the GBAC star will help you get there.